while the Indian economy was recovering faster from the release of lockdowns, the second wave hit the country in April 21. The outbreak took India off guard and the consequences were far more devastating than the first wave last year. The lockdowns this time were limited and were of short duration. Therefore, major part of the economic activity remained operational. However, the Indian economy continued its recovery path during this year and surpassed the pre-pandemic level. It has achieved 13.7% real GDP growth in the first six months of fiscal year 2022. The supply side stimulus through reforms and easing regulations, infrastructure investments and product linked incentives to boost the manufacturing sector and the vaccination drive have supported the growth and there are strong signs that this will continue in fiscal year 2023. The consensus estimates India's GDP growth in FY22 to stand between 8.5 and 10 percent. In subsequent years, the real GDP growth is expected to stabilize towards 7 to 8 percent. As a result, India will enjoy a double-digit nominal GDP growth. With that kind of growth, India will clearly stand out of the emerging market pack and the rest of the world. Moreover, the country is strengthening its entire ecosystem to become a $5 trillion economy in the near future. The Indian equity market was one of the best performing markets in 2021, thanks to record high ownership by Indian retail investors. Nearly 40% of foreign investments belongs to emerging markets and Asian dedicated funds. Hence, uncertainty around certain emerging markets such as China, Russia, Turkey, South Africa and Brazil leads to redemption of these funds. As India is part of this pack, it saw its share of foreign outflows as well. Foreign investors sold a net amount of USD $5.5 billion worth of equities this year and may continue next year as a consequence of uh, strengthening of USD Fed interest rate hikes, geopolitical events, or any emergence of another virulent COVID-19 variant. As the growth recovery is a reality and it's here to stay for the next two years, or we are lucky for another three years, the domestic flows into the equity market will continue to remain robust and will support the market. Of course, it will not be a straight line. Market will see pullbacks and reason for pullbacks can manifest any time in any forms, which will provide with buying opportunities. Having said that, reminiscent of the last 18 months extraordinary performance is unlikely in 2022. As the economy is on the fast track of recovery, the stocks in cyclical and consumer sectors will be the main beneficiaries. Global recovery in CapEx is favorable for Indian IT companies. Due to their strong demand visibility, various IT companies are on hiring mode. The Indian IT sector is expected to hire more than 1 million graduates in the next two years. This will transform India's consumption landscape. Building materials, home appliances, auto and hospitality sectors will benefit from the surge in urban spending. Shift from unorganized to organized businesses global acceptance of Indian products, PLI scheme, and China plus one strategy will provide opportunities for companies in the specialty chemicals, electronics, and contract manufacturing sectors. No doubt that ample liquidity, low interest rate, and high growth will push the valuation multiples to higher levels. However, the market has corrected from its historical high in mid-October, and that has brought the valuations down to some extent. Having a closer look at the market, roughly 20% of the market is trading at very high multiples and other part is within or below the long-term average. Hence, a correction is not an adversity but an opportunity to select the companies with visible growth prospects at valuation below their long-term average. Corporate India's balance sheets are in greater shape. In the last earnings reporting session, the management commentary revealed a buoyant capex pipeline driven by improving demand outlook. Banks' healthy balance sheets and surplus of liquidity in the banking system will encourage the credit cycle. 
recovery in external and internal demand will further lead to improvement in capacity utilization followed by earnings momentum and rise in corporate profit to GDP ratio. The constellation is aligned for the earnings growth to accelerate and as a result, the valuation multiples should logically temper going forward. <music>